Hi Capricorn, it's Joe from Angels and Ancestors. Welcome to your What the Fuck Valentine's reading. Um, I've come up with this um, layout. We are using the Green Witch Tarot for the normal layout and I will go through this for you in a minute. We've just pulled a card from the Energy Deck. That is what's crowning you. It's what you're thinking of at the moment. Your thought process is where things are going. Um, so we have then got your main deck. This is the Kiss, your energy, their energy, your heart, your energy, their energy. And I have to say, I've only had one NAF reading so far. So let's not have another one, eh? It wasn't even really enough to be honest with you. It's just that some one of the one of the star signs really needed to uh, learn to love themselves, and it came out very clearly in the reading that that's what they needed to do for this Valentine's Day. So, my lovelies, we will then, after this, tap into the angels, the fairies, the seven energies, and the star seed deck. So, let's get on with your reading. You have the sixth chakra, Archangel Metatron. So this is your third eye opening. This is something, a connection, that isn't just going to be of this world. It is going to be a spiritual connection for you. Lovelies, we're going to get straight into the reading. No messing about. So, darlings... Your kiss, one part of your kiss is the two of wands. This is you going out on a quest, leaving your comfort zone with somebody else. Really? This is wands. This is passion. This is desire. Oh, my goodness. Capricorn. What is it with you lot? You've got the two of wands, passion, come out of your comfort zone, do all of that shit. And what do you do? Fucking negotiate about it. Are you kidding? Are you, are you fucking joking me? Do not do this. Do not get into, yeah, but if we do it this way, no, 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 no. just go with the flow, darling. It's made me laugh. I'm sorry, Capricorn. I should say this more seriously. You might have to agree to disagree. You might have to learn to go with the flow, Capricorn. I know that's really difficult for you. But your other two is passionate and desirable, really wants to leave their comfort zone. You don't. You want tried and tested. <laughs> you you want to know. You want to know that um, it's been done before. And you're heading to the same conclusion, even. Really? Oh, my goodness. But at least you're in balance on both. So, <laughs> that has really tickled me. You'll have to let me know in the notes below if this happens to you. And I am sorry that I, I shouldn't be laughing. Oh, my God, really? Your son, and it could, vice versa, these roles, because it could be you that's this one here, and it could be the other person that wants to negotiate, and it could throw you through a loop because your energy is showing the Ace of Wands. Don't you are fucking going for this? The Ace of Wands is a new beginning in passion and desire. You're going to go for it, you are just going to go for it. No other explanation. That sun is ripening those cherries off. Though the bite of those cherries is going to be immensely sweet, let me tell you. But darlings, this is passion and desire in its rawest form. And that is your energy. Which I'm surprised about. So it could be that somebody's going to come in and knock you fucking sideways. But then they're going to want to negotiate. About how you're going to get down to it. Oh, that's so funny. Oh, well, okay. You've got the standing stoners coming, darlings. They're waiting for their scales to be balanced. I'm getting that this person may have been hurt in the past. Um, and they're waiting for natural justice to come in. And I'm getting that you are their natural justice. You are the person that's going to bring sunshine 
back to their life that you're going to bring stability back to their life and you're going to show them how to balance those scales and clear that labyrinth in order for them to journey towards you um, they're going to find this difficult they're going to need you as an earth sign to protect them um, there is many stones around that and there's also the beautiful daisies coming up around them and the trees that are offering that earthing out but i am clearly getting that this this could be a connection of a lifetime but there is some um holding back on their part just because um of the natural justice that they haven't seen in their lives before so just be aware of that a little bit. I know I was having a bit of a joke, but turn it a little bit on the serious side. You are going to be the stability that brings the passion and the fire into this particular connection. So let's go to your heart space. Five of a Thames. Don't, don't let somebody cut you down. Don't let somebody try and make you think and feel the way they want you to think and feel think and feel the way you want to think and feel you know if it gets to this situation where you've got a stalemate and somebody's trying to push um their thoughts and their feelings onto you and it's not what you want you may just have to um stand firm in your energy and follow your heart on that and yeah absolutely i am not fucking surprised by this eight of chalices it may well fucking confuse you on which way you need to go now your chalices are in the upright that's all your loved ones behind you they've got your back the sun is shining bit hazy but it's shining and it's saying that it will follow you wherever you go but you still have to make this decision around your heart space for yourself and that may be why you've got the third eye chakra because i'm kind of getting that your third eye is awakening and being a little bit awake um you may suddenly decide that um it's not okay for people to make you feel that way yeah absolutely jesus christ capricorn you're holding on to something you've turned your back on something and you're not opening that door now be, because this is a love reading it's a valentine's reading don't this i'm going to say this is your emotion you kind of got this passion and this desire shit going on and somebody is kind of dampening it down a little bit they're not adding fuel to the fire and i'm getting that you really crave being earthed out and holding on to what is yours and in this case it's going to be your emotions um you're not sure you want to, you've got the burn, the desire to share it. But perhaps this person, and I'm going to hazard a guess that it is an air sign, isn't the right one for you. They may be okay for Valentine's Day, but I don't get a sense that this is going to go anywhere particularly fast. Even if you come in and you are their light, and you are their stability, I'm still getting it's going to be their way, or the fucking highway. <laughs> and darlings, look what you get from their side. They are really trying. They are really trying with the Knight of Pentacles to come in from the right direction, but it is slow, and it is painful they do not find that at all natural that's their energy not yours they don't find that at all natural they are they're kind of like they want to and they're kind of like moving that way but it may be you may find that you're happy to wait for them to catch up but I'm not getting an essence that when they catch up, that they're going to be any different from this. They're not going to be any different from this. You need somebody who's going to match your desire, your passion. Um, and let me tell you, normally an air sign 
normally an air sign would but because they're passionate up in their heads um and they use intuition a lot so for two for an air sign to get into negotiations feel that there's some sort of karmic judgment natural justice to come in and then they're kicking back and going uh -uh, my way or the highway do you know what capricorn is just not worth your fucking energy darlings to be honest it isn't because whatever goes around is coming around and i have to say um what they've been through you don't want to then invite that into your life Because I'm getting that they've they've probably done this before, where it's, it seems cute in the beginning, them getting into a negotiation about a passionate quest that you're trying to do together. But then when you get into your heart space and you're asking the question about the five of Thames and whether or not you need to be cutting that out in order for you to move forward, ah, oh, lovelies, do you know it's just not worth your energy. It really isn't. So what's the angel saying? fulfillment darlings you don't find fulfillment from other people you find fulfillment from within um and i get that there is a sincere lack of fulfillment within this person's energy and i'm getting that with your third eye opening that you are looking for exactly that you're looking for ful fulfillment you're looking at all the elements not just one or two of the elements you're looking for all of them you are looking for the fire you are looking for the water you are looking for the earth and you are looking for the air and you want a good mixture of all of those to come together capricorn so darlings you have got from the fairies winter and it says the answers to your prayers and affirmations are fully realized in the winter months well that's handy because we've still got the rest of january and all of february to go i'm hoping this isn't taking you into next winter months although with how the world is going it possibly could be but think about what's happened to you personally this winter what it is that you've closed out what it is that you've taken in how you've managed to do this spiritual shift and get your third ch eye chakra to open to you've had an awakening to what it is that you will accept and won't accept darlings let the winter have it whatever it is you don't want leave it in the winter and make sure the next winter is clear for you to find a way forward yeah you're hearing messages my darlings you have got ears wide open ears wide open you are hearing things but because of the desire that you've got you're hearing it but you're not listening to it if that makes sense you're hearing what's going on but you're not listening and absorbing what it is that you need to know at the moment the two will marry up for you they really will So darlings, you've got Electra, the lost star and rebirth out of the darkness and into the light. Be aware of that, lovelies. Um, Capricorn, listen, it is not a bad reading, but it is about time you had a clearing out. You need to get your passions and your desires realised and matched. Absolutely. And although this person is really trying to match it, they're falling short. They really are. So, my darlings, listen. Know you are loved and appreciated. Be happy and healthy this Valentine's Day. And I will catch you in the next reading. Bye for now.